Hello, you're watching The Luna Show, and right now you're about to see D.D. Khan. What can I say about D.D. Khan? Well, <laughs> she is actually really funny. I didn't know that uh, D.D. was funny. Um, I also learned that she is a champion boxer. Like, she actually literally was a boxer um, before she became a female figure. So that was interesting to learn. But um, I'm going to let you um, find out a little bit more about her from her own voice. But she's a kiki, though. I had a good time with her that night. Love you, Dee Dee. Hi, Dee Dee Khan. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. Good. What's going on? Nothing. Just be out on Thanksgiving Day. Just chilling. Okay. It's actually interesting to see you out because I, I rarely see you out having a good time. Yeah, but it's Thanksgiving. I just wanted to give a little Khan love. <laughs> <laughs> so, now that you're talking about Khan, like, tell me a little bit about your history because I know you've been in the scene for a long time, you mm -hmm. know? So tell me a little bit about, you know, how you started, what got you started, and things like that. Okay, well, what it is is that my original gay mother is Jarek Ebony. Rest in peace, he died from, he was originally, originally from um, Bush Queen Face to Owe. And I always admire him so much because my self-esteem used to be so low because I was dark-skinned, because I was fat, chubby, however you may see me. But because my self-esteem used to be so, mo so low, because of him today, I'm better and my self-esteem is beyond what you can actually count on. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm into the ballroom scene the way that I am today. So you were an ebony in the beginning, or? At the beginning, he was an ebony, and yes, I was an ebony at the beginning of uh -huh. all of this. I was the beginning, beginning. I used to walk fag out, believe it or not. <laughs> and that was the worst category of all. What year, what year was that? Oh, my God. Was it the 90s? Yes, it was very 90s. <laughs> it was yes. very 90s. The 90s were fun because the categories were exciting. It was. And I'm going to like, tell look, you. Like, look, like Fagal, like who, who right. would walk And let me tell you, I, I remember it at all. <laughs> it was my very, very first category that I walked was fag out. You at the mall and you want the boys to know that you are, are a girl. Uh -huh. And I had a civil goose on and I fagged out. And you won. Yes, I fagged <laughs> out. And I, but believe it or not, I got chopped. You did? And, it, and you know what it did? So it made me... Chop a fag out. <laughs> yeah, right. It, but it made me better uh -huh. today than what I am today. I used to box and everything. I went through the whole training of with the boys, training, how to learn how to fight. And then also, I, you you actually box. Yeah. You were right. a boxer. And my, and I'm from New Jersey. And, and my, I'm from Pasay County. They used to have this boxing team that used to go from Passaic County to different counties to fight the boys. And I was on the team. And because of that, I went around fighting many boys from all the way from South Jersey, from Candom, all the way up to North Jersey. So which wait, is, but uh, when you became a female figure, like how do you incorporate the boxing? Well, I came to a conclusion that I don't want to fight. I want to be a girl. And then I started being soft. I started being cunt. And I just, I just took that into everything and put it in and said, I'm going to be a better person. Mm -hmm. And even though I'm a female figure today, I still carry. But that's not me. At the end of the day, I'm a better person. It's not that. I, I respect people for them as long as they respect me for me. Mm -hmm. Regardless of at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's just how I became a female figure. Wow. And you know, at the end of the day, I look just like my mother. I look just like my sister. I look like my whole entire family. My family yeah, genes. Yeah, I mean, your realness is cute because it's like you're like auntie. Like. <laughs> yeah, right. At the end of the day, no your shade. Auntie Dee Dee. No, at the end of the day, no shade. I look like the auntie, that bitch. I don't play no games. I go in. <laughs> at the end of the day, if you get to know me as an individual, I'm a sweet person. I don't have no. no well, that's interesting because you're telling me this, but the Dee Dee that I know is always very kind, very soft spoken. Very like, hi Luna, how are you? Very, you know. Right. So it's, it's it's actually weird to hear you saying that you were, you know, a, a battle cat, a boxer. And you gotta get Luna. I swear to God, if you come to New Jersey and you come to my my county, uh -huh. I am DD, three time Golden Glove champ. I have Golden Gloves, boxing gloves that they have gave me as a reward for boxing. Do they know that you're a female figure now? No. <laughs> My trainer don't. My trainer knows. You know he be That's trying to. Funny. He be trying to get me to come back now. 
come come back and help me train other guys. And I'll be telling him, no, I'm done with that. I want to be a, you know. A girl. I want to be a girl now. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not into that. I'm a girl. <laughs> yeah, I'm not into that. But you got, um, you know, it's let a secret out. Every now, every now and once, once and then, I'll go to the gym and I'll play with the boys every now and then. <laughs> you know, to boy. let the boys know. I'm still here. Mm-hmm. You're not going to disrespect. That's interesting. We'll walk around in the hood. Anywhere we go. Trey, what's that? Yo, you better chill out. That's Dee Dee. Dee Dee Khan. That's who I am. <laughs> <laughs> I live. <laughs> so I love you. you. <laughs> You're so funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you know why? Because every time we see each other, I'm so sweet to you. I because know. Because that's how I am. I, I, that's, that's me as an individual. I lift you, you see down, me gagging a little, and, right? and I see you as an individual. I just feel like me meeting you. You're so sweet. You're so kind, and and you and I know you're older than me. And I just feel like you're somebody that went through harder times than me. You might not went through the same things than me, but I know that you. No, went through I don't harder think I things. went through what you. <laughs> <laughs> but I live for you, there. <laughs> yeah, I live you know for you. I mean? <laughs> that's why I always say hi to you when I see. And you. that's what I tell my kids. Just because you're younger than me doesn't mean that I can't learn something from you. Uh huh. And that's the most important part. When people have gay kids I'm and just gay a little family, older than you. a gay family <laughs> and gay kids, I want them to understand that just because you're a parent doesn't mean that you can't gain something from your son. I have a son. Mm-hmm. And his name is Joshua. He's 18 years old, and I'm gonna tell you, Luna. He has two jobs. He works at the airport, and he works as, as another little retail job. He works every day, five days a week, and he don't let nothing. He don't come out to the gate scenery. He don't have time for that, and I respect him so much. And because he does that, I learn from him. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? And as a parent, I tell him, I live. I get smile. I get my life over that. And because you're doing that, I want to do better. Because I don't want you to outdo me because I'm your mother. Uh-huh. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, and I, I know. respect the life, what it is. Very interesting. Very. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting Very. show. <laughs> yes, Al. <laughs> well, you do a lot of community stuff in Jersey, right? Yes, I'm originally from Patterson. Mm-hmm. And being that I'm in Patterson, um, and right now, as of today, I work for the courthouse. I work for the mailroom. And my job at the mailroom is. You know, I, I still in my lobes. I, I mail them out to people to let them know they got court, court dates and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, I'm not like that. I'm very humble. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, it's not about a negative thing about me. I work every day. I'm not one of the girls that post an ad. There's nothing wrong with that. Every now and then, if time get hard for me, I do work. I work the show. I work the ads. I do what I got to do to survive. Mm-hmm. But as a female figure, it is hard. It's very hard for us. You finished school. You did what you had to do. Yes, to I care. am a high school graduate. I, I went to two years of high college to sophomore in Passaic County. Uh-huh. And I went for um, ultrasound tech, but I never completed because mm-hmm. I, I always felt like if you disrespected me, I had to get at you. I had a point to prove. And then now that because I'm 32, I feel like I don't have no point to prove. From me, from the heart, from the soul, I tell all you female figures, be yourself. Forget everything that everybody says about you because in this world that we're in, everybody hates. The only thing that matters is that you grow as an individual. And as they see that you grow as an individual, they don't want you to grow as an individual. And all you have to do as an individual is just show them that you can be better beyond anything. That's what I can tell everybody that's younger than me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I have a lot of young kids that's under me from my hometown, and I'm their mother, and they get into fights, and you know what they do? They always tell people, oh, uh, Didi, my mother, let me call my mother. And they put me in the middle of that. But you know what, as an individual, I do? I gag them. Don't put me in the middle of that. Because if you out there starting trouble, and you doing what you're doing, be a man, be a woman, be whatever you want to be, and handle that as an individual. As a loyal friend, I'll come after afterwards. But at the end of the day, it's not about the negative. It's about being positive. Mm-hmm. Because beyond the negative is something better beyond that. Because negative will end you in jail. And I'm an individual that did five years in jail straight. And that's not the place to be. Mm-hmm. All right, Didi. And Didi always have your back. <laughs> Al, how you doing? Oh, you good. <laughs> well, thank you, Didi. Thank you, Lola. This was a treat. Uh, like, I really didn't know that... Uh, you were such a boxer. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> <in>. <laughs> Take care, baby. You can soon. Good night.